Imagine quickly filling out grant applications in under an hour using just a little bit of AI. That's what we're going to talk about today in 5-Minute AI. I'm Scott Meyer, and here at 5-Minute AI, we help you live well and work smart with just a little bit of AI. Today, we're going to talk about how to apply for grants. So imagine that you're a nonprofit, or maybe you're a student or researcher looking to get money to pursue some kind of activity. You can quickly apply for this using ChatGPT, which is totally free, and a previous grant application if you have it. You're going to be able to quickly answer questions, hit character limits, and apply for grants with a personal touch. Now, to do this, there's two frameworks that you have to remember. The first is the RIPE framework, R-I-P-E. So as we use ChatGPT, we're going to give ChatGPT a role, an instruction, some parameters, and an example. That's going to be the previous grant or maybe information about yourself or your nonprofit. Now, in addition to the right framework, you're going to want to remember the multi-shot approach. So remember that one-shot prompting means you just give one question and get all the answers. With a multi-shot approach, you want to ask multiple questions in order. With a multi-shot approach, you ask question by question to get answers. Now, with grant applications, this is the perfect framework to use because a grant has multiple questions. So you can answer question number one and then use that answer to improve the results for every other question that comes along. So let's head over to the computer and put these frameworks into action and help you quickly apply for grants. Get started by going to chat.openai.com. I love using GPT-4 for tasks like this because it doesn't require a lot of messages and the quality of writing is a little bit deeper. Now, GPT-4 is only available for paying customers, which is $20 a month. If you're not able to pay or you don't have a paid account, that's okay. GPT-3.5 will do just a fine job as well. If you're a professional grant writer doing this a lot, I think it's worth the investment. If this is a once in a while thing, just use GPT 3.5. So to get started, we're going to do a new chat. And as always, remember that you can reuse chats. So if you have started writing grants, you're going to want to use that same chat over and over because it'll keep the context. So I'm going to jump into the chat that I've been using for grant writing assistance. Now we want to use that right framework. So first we're going to give ChatGPT a role. So you can see here, I say you're our professional grant writer skilled at crafting narratives. And then we're going to upload examples so that when we ask for our instructions and our parameters, it knows exactly what to do. So you can see here that I say, I'm going to upload previous grants and then ask you questions. So the reason we upload those previous grants is because it'll take the information and the tone of voice that we've already created and use that in our new grant. So then I don't have to explain what our organization does. So as you can see, here's an example from a previous grant application. Now, if you don't have a grant application, you could take text from your website, maybe from your annual report, anything that explains your nonprofit, maybe talks about your mission, and even better if you share those budget details. Now, I like to share at least two examples or two bodies of text, whether it's your annual report and a grant or your website and an annual report. If anything's too long, if it doesn't fit, you can always break it up into chunks. So share a first chunk of your uh, grant application from before and then your second chunk and then ask questions based on that. So now that we've given it a role, we've given it the example, now we're going to get into the IP of that write, the instructions and the parameters. So I'm going to ask it to write, based on these previous grant application, help me write a new grant that answers the following question. Now, as a reminder, we're going to use multi-shot prompting, which means we don't just ask all of the questions at once, we go line by line, right? So I go question by question. That allows me to make any updates or give feedback so that in the upcoming questions, it'll be even better. So the first question is, what is a good application title and one sentence purpose statement? And you can see here, it gives me a great example. Then I can go straight to the second question and I make sure to add the parameters from the application. So maximum of 600 characters. Now AI is gonna be great at making sure you stay within those limits. Or if you have a previous application and you wanna just repurpose it or cut it by a certain number of characters, it's great at that as well. As an example, here is a feedback that it gave me about a nonprofit and it was too long or I didn't, give the parameter for characters. So I went back, pasted it in and asked to shorten it to 600 characters or less. And here you can see it redid that. So what I then do is copy and paste the answers into a Google document. So as I get the answers from ChatGPT, I go in here and enter it into my grant document. And as you can see, each of these sections are the different questions that I had asked ChatGPT. This one is about TNT Kids Fitness, an amazing program here in Fargo, North Dakota. So definitely check them out and support them. And what I learned through this process is that we can get a really great rough draft of our grant created. And then we have to remember that technique of the AI sandwich. Remember, it starts with the human. That's me asking the questions. The AI gives me the answers, which I just copy and pasted. 
And then we need a human to then edit and approve again at the end. This ensures quality, make sure that everything stays on track and make sure that you know exactly what you're applying for. Once we have a good grant application ready to go, we can then email that or update it into the web page, and we have submitted a quick grant application and we're ready for the next one. Now that I have this grant done, I can use this as an example for future conversations. When I go into ChatGPT, I'm gonna go over here to the left side and reuse this same chat with new questions because now it's gonna remember all the previous information from my previous grants and it's gonna get better every single time. So this is how you use ChatGPT to quickly apply for grants, to use information you have about your organization, to make that actionable so that you can quickly apply and get money to take action. Hope that helps and look forward to seeing you soon at 5-Minute AI.